Hi guys! I'm Amy. I'm Haislina. So today we are going to talk about physics concept applied in biology. So for our title is Boyle's Law in Briefing Mechanism. We will show it to you later, so check it out! Boyle's Law is the gas law which states that in a closed place, pressure and volume are inversely proportional. Lungs are organs in your chest located on above diaphragm that allow your body to take in oxygen from the air and remove carbon dioxide. This is the diagram that highlights the respiratory system in humans. As you can see that, there is a pair of lungs surrounded by the rib cage and intercostal muscles. There is a dome-shaped muscular partition which is known as diaphragm, separating the thorax and the abdomen. During the process of inhalation, the lung volume expands as a result of the contraction of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles, thus expanding the thoracic cavity. Due to this increase in volume, the pressure in the thoracic cavity is decreased based on the principle of Boyle's law. The higher atmospheric pressure will allow air to rush into the lungs due to the pressure gradient between the atmosphere and the thoracic cavity. During exhalation, the diaphragm relaxes, moving higher into the thoracic cavity this increases the pressure within the thoracic cavity relative to the environment. Air rushes out of the lungs due to the pressure gradient between the thoracic cavity and the atmosphere. Now we will see how the inhalation and exhalation occur by using this model. Okay, this is our diaphragm, this is our lung, and this is the airway. Okay, first, let's revise. When diaphragm contracted, it will result in an increase of lung volume and decrease in lung pressure followed the boil flow, right? So the air in the atmosphere will rush into the lung. Okay, let's see. When diaphragm contracted, Ta-da! The balloons get inflated. And this is called the process of inhalation. Then, the elastic recoil of lung tissue will cause the realization of diaphragm. And we will see the balloon get contracted, which is caused by the decrease of lung volume and increase of lung pressure. This air will, will rush out of the lung. And this is called the process of exhalation. Let's see again. Inhalation, exhalation. Inhalation, exhalation. So that's how Boyle's law is related to the breathing mechanism.